The member representing Deora Sandamu May Adua Federal Constituency of Katsina State, Honorable Aminu Jamu Deora, has described the 10th Assembly legislators as quality legislators. Honorable Jamu praised the maturity exhibited by the 10th Assembly in handling issues. He made this assertion in an interview with press on the forthcoming 10th Assembly's first anniversary. My name is Sabine Jamu Deora. I'm representing Deora Sandemum Adua Federal Constituency. Thank you. Um, the tenth assembly will be a year, couple of weeks, let's say next month. Mm. How would you describe the tenth assembly and as a person in your constituency? Just give us an overview of what you have done so far. Uh, to me, the tenth assembly has just started, barely a year. So, starting within a year, uh, putting here and there, a lot of motions past has been discussed and most of them very touchy and sensitive work. To me personally I think I would have a confidence on the 10th assembly as we've just started. Uh, whenever how do I put it when 360 people come together representing so many interests there must be interest conflicts here and there. But with maturity, we we'll overcome it and move on. You have been in the chamber most of the time. You could see the maturity with which discussions are. That is one of the, I think, the tech to me on the 10th Assembly. We respect ourselves, we discuss freely, and then you have never seen one rank within the 10th Assembly. Probably due to leadership and the quality of the legislatures and the maturity ensured by the leadership. So I think we've just started. Give us a chance. Maybe in the next few months, then you can assess us. Because by the time we came, it was just four months to the end of the year. So plans are what we did. Now that the budget is passed, and it's just about another two, three months. So we still need some few months to actualize and even implement the for us to be assessed within the first year. That's my view. Any conflict between the legislature and the executive so far? So no. to me, I think so there, is a, there is a cordial relationship so far because you are the person. You should, you would have heard, oh, what happened that, the question would have been when there is a conflict between the executive, what happened that led to that? But now that you've kept silent, you know there is a cordial yes. <laughs> relationship. That's what I, I think there is a much cordial relationship between the executives and the legislature. But I think uh, what I would add is, I hope this cordiality should be in the interest of the people, not in our interest. That is what I would add. I hope uh, we are having that cordial relationship in the interest of the people we are representing. Speaking on the member of the House who died recently, Speaking on the member of the House who died recently, Honorable Jamo says that is a necessary end, admonish everyone to consider doing good in their lifetime as no one has the monopoly of life. So, so, so sad. Like the first person, the second person, the third person. We started with a colleague. Some of us met here, but respected ourselves. Like um, Lisa, after that, I was shocked. This is a young man, open, you know. I just don't know. He always reports to me as a senior brother. When there are things that are, he think I should advise, he comes to me for advice. I received his death as a shock. But you know, as they said, death is a necessary end. It will come when it will come. We only pray to God to grant to internal rest and to be a lesson to all of us that this world is not a stay, it's a place to stay. And this, as I said, is a necessary and it will come when it will come and it can, can come anytime. So anytime we should prepare our minds to do the good things because we don't know when it will catch up with them. With us. But like Isa is so lucky, everybody is talking good about him.
and that is true. Isa was a really, really good and upright person. Uh, if he was bad, people might just shut up. They might not say anything. But his presence is everywhere. They never know that he's dead. Nobody will be afraid or anything to say whatever he is. But I think he should thank his God, his family. He should be thank God for they have had a good brother, a good husband, a good father. The, the few years I've worked, one year that we've been together as colleagues, so I so admirable. But it should be a lesson to all of us. It might be me next. It might be anybody. So nobody has the monopoly of life. So we should all concentrate on the good things. We don't know when death will come. And nobody has uh, monopoly or I will live or I will not live. Or nobody knows for how long he will live. He might live another 10 years, another 20 years, another 30 years. But death would eventually come. So let us come back to our senses and do the right thing for our people. Bearing in mind that we're not better than Isa. But like me, I'm older than him, and he's dead. So those that think, oh, Isa's position for, for, for probably like, uh, oh, I want to contest against him in 2007, he's gone. Mm. And you that wants to contest against him, are not sure whether you're going to get to that day or not. So we should all leave it in the hands of God and do the right thing for now. Comfort Olayinka, DCTV News.